All right, in this video, I want to go into the, actually, uh, instead of just using the default template, uh, we're going to go into using some of the uh, other templates, and then we're going to make our own uh, custom template. One of the ways you can select different templates is to go to the uh, project, not the tool tab, and you click set, select templates, and then we can go with general templates. So there's a folder uh, that we can go with, and um, uh, we can just very select various templates. So we're just going to use A4. It's a normal 8.5 by 11. And we're just going to do this document, and we're not going to update any parameters. So we could, if we if we started a template, uh, we could actually slide in some of the new uh, some of the new parameters. Like for this uh, one, we've got a couple of parameters, like the, the, the title, sheet number of number, drawn by me, revision number. Uh, that are that we've added to the default and that will slide that in but we're gonna, just going to go full on from uh, just a regular line. So, we're, so this is just you know the, it's just a different setup so the default template it's, it's kind of boring there's maybe not the same amount of information you want um, so here we have sheet number of vision so this already has a bunch of things populated since it's using some of the parameters we have set up from the previous video so some of these other templates they have different information like they've got their circuit maker logo on there uh, you can't actually click it and delete it, uh, but then the, and also we don't know which of the parameters they have here. This is just going to be address lines. So one of the ways you can go and find out which of these are. So let's go with let's assume this is address line one. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, and we're just going to assume this is their address lines. Maybe one through four. Click OK. All right, so it's close. The first one is not address, but the other ones are, this is address one, two, three, and four. So let's try to figure that out. Author, perhaps? Let's just put five. Nope. But this is just another template that you can use. It has just, it's just information, it's different layout. Uh, you know, you're gonna be stuck with the circuit maker. Uh, I guess they wanna brand it. Uh, but what we really wanna do is make our own template. So what we're going to do is open up this file tab and we're going to navigate to disk C. And so this is where I'm going is the, uh, the file where they keep the uh, actual templates. And we're going to copy and make our own. We're going to copy and paste. So we want to go to public documents, LTM, circuit maker, templates, and what we're going to do, I'm going to use an A4, but not the portrait. So we want A4 SCH dot. Right click that. We're going to copy and paste. And so that's A4 copy. I'm going to call this Steve's. Now, Steve default. All right, so now this is the counterintuitive thing. You would think you would go back into Circuit Maker and just navigate somewhere to it and then edit it. That's not the case. What we do, take this, what we just made, and just drag it into the window. Anyway, so let's, you know what, let's keep those for now. Actually, you know what, let's just blow this all out. We're going to delete everything. We're going to delete that. We're going to delete that, and we're going to delete that, as well as that. All right, so I've got my uh, bear template. Now I want to put, I don't want to use too much. I don't want to use, like, uh, I want to use maybe roughly this much, maybe about that much of the template, because I'm going to use this mostly for schematic. You know, if I get too fancy about putting all kinds of various parameters on there, it just gets distracting. I only need the information that's necessary. So I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to do a polyline. I'm going to press tab, and I've got smallest, solid, black, and don't need any of that, and smallest. And I don't want to lock it yet. So I click that, and like this about, I think I said something about that. Let's make the overall size something like this. And I think we'll picture or image will take up about that much space and we'll put in things like I don't know maybe we'll put in title you know drawn by maybe not 
sheet number of whatever. And eh, let's just start with that. All right, so all I'm going to do is drop in a bunch of text. And let's zoom in. So I also want to change. Let's put the title in. And letter O. I'm going to change this back to 5. Change that to 5. Uh, I want to have a little bit more control over where things go. So I'll put that in the middle. Title, and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put another text string in. This is going to be one of those special ones. Tab, and let's just type it. Equals, haha, <laughs> just kidding. Equals title. And, and let's actually add the parameter. So letter O, parameter, title, let's see, custom template. Click OK, oh, and it's a little off, so we'll put that right there. Okay, let's see what else, what other information do we let's do? Let's put in drawn by colon space. Put that there, tab, now we want to put the special in, equal, we'll put equals, drawn by, it fills it for me, thank you. Put that one there, let's click escape. Letter O to bring up the document options, parameters. Let's see, drawn by, put in my name, Steve. Click OK. Boom, there it goes. All right, so let's put in maybe date and the current time. Hmm. We need to know the current time. So T, shortcut, tab. Let's put in date. Tab equals date. I oh, know. Wait, actually, I want to do today's today's date. Is that what I want to do? I don't know. Current time, current date. That's what I want to do. Current date. So whenever I open the document, it'll update the you know to the current date. And let's see. Let's put in time. Oh, I missed the colon. Bah balls. Tab equals there. Oh, look at that. It almost knew what I wanted to do. Oh, come on. There we go. Current time. Cancel. Yeah, escape. All right. Let's see. What other information do we want? Uh, title. Eh, maybe we'll put in the file. So let's draw another line. Polyline. Uh, T or text file document name hey there we go we want to put more information in there so if I were submitting this what kind of information I need oh we also need like sheet number of you know let's leave this long just in case you know so let's put in another polyline And let's make another split. Let's do text tab sheet. Let's call it actually number. And then of. Let's put that right there. Time equals sheet all. Sheet number of equals sheet total. All right, so then I want to go to tools, sheet numbers, and auto sheet, auto document number, update sheets. Okay, and boom, sheet number one of one. All right, let's add an image. So I want to go to home image. I don't even think it's going to size it to this specifically anyway. Let's go. Wow. That's wildly wrong size. Eh, we'll just resize it. All right. I think that's good enough. Uh, we could add one. Let's just add 
let's just call it Steve's favorite color. Yeah, because that, that's a parameter that needs to be made. And Steve's favorite color. We'll type that in as green. All right. Now we want to press T for text. Tab. Let's see. Um, all right. Color. And we're going to put this there. Tab. Now we want equals. Steve's favorite color. Well, that's interesting. Oh, I bet she doesn't like spaces. There you go. Yep, apparently it doesn't like spaces. So we're, you know, we're gonna leave this blank. We can always come back and add more information if we want. But so there we have our own custom template file and save all. all right, so I'm going to close that. And if I open up a design, let's see, add new schematic. Let's call it custom template. Let's go to project, go to templates, general templates. And we can go down, we can actually see Steve default. And just this document done up and doing parameters, click OK. There we go. All right, well, clearly I got a little too clever. And uh, so whenever you make a new parameter, it doesn't actually save it as a default. So, uh, so in order to fix this, I think I need to go up into Project op Options, Add New Parameter. And I should call it Steve's fave favorite color. And let's give it a value of green. Yep. So, again, this isn't really something you would put into a, a real document anyway, but it's just showing you that you how to, you can make the uh, make a new uh, parameter, a new special parameter. And so again, since this is a new document, uh, it doesn't uh, it didn't save the all the various parameters from the uh, when we're actually making the template. So we need to go into document options and ch change the. So we want to change the title. And we'll just change the title of custom. And we'll just call it custom. And we would make sure to go up to drawn by Steve. And of course, we want to also update the sheet number of and it's that it's tools number auto auto auto. Okay, click and there we go. And so that is how you do a custom template. Now you would think uh, going to system preferences general, uh, you can. In theory, you can select your default template as something other than the default. So I could go down here and select, oops, missed the default, and then I'll click apply, and then OK. And you would think if you started up a new project, so even if I go up to, before I do that, if I go up to system parameters and I see it saves that as my default. I haven't changed anything, but if I add new schematic, and let's call this blah, it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually bring up that particular template. It's just not the end of the world. All we need to do is go up to project, templates, general templates, Steve default, blah, Okay, and then, you know, we can go from there. And so anytime you start a new schematic, you can go in and uh, you'll actually have to manually go through and have that set up, uh, uh, change the template. So if I, for example, if I add a new schematic, I go blah, two. 
And again, it doesn't open up my new set default, my custom as the default. And all you need to do is go in there, general, and then set it up. And we'll just do that. And okay. All right, so that is the, how you set up, uh, make your own custom template, uh, your own custom title block. And you can use that, make it look much more professional. Uh, you can actually uh, include any logo that you can make. And uh, yeah. All right, well, I hope you found that video useful.